I'm Holly Clegg and I'm in my trim and terrific kitchen. Well, today's rush hour recipe is about dressing. Some people like wild rice dressing, some people like cornbread dressing. If you've been hanging around me long enough, you know I like everything. So I decided to put cornbread and wild rice into one scrumptious dressing. And then I'm gonna take it up a notch because I'm also gonna add Louisiana crawfish. So it's called crawfish wild rice cornbread dressing. Easy recipe to do because I like to simplify everything in cooking so don't feel like you have to get bogged down with dressing. Simple enough, we're gonna start with wild rice. This is, uh, you can buy whatever wild rice you want. And what I like to do when I'm making dressings is sort of cook the components ahead of time so it's easy to put together. Cornbread. I made this cornbread out of the box. I see cornbread muffins you could use. Uh, again, whatever simpler for you. And then we have green pepper, celery, and onions, which is called the trinity of Louisiana cooking that I have sauteed ahead of time because there's no nothing exciting about watching sauteing. So we're gonna add this. Also, it smells so good when you add your vegetables. Okay, we're gonna mix that together. And this is a little poultry seasoning but you can't have dressing without poultry seasoning. And then we're gonna use chicken broth to moisten it. We're gonna just get it going so it'll sort of mix well. And I'll add a little more in a minute. I'm just sort of getting it going because we have to add our star ingredient, Louisiana crawfish. Now, people don't realize you could really enjoy crawfish year-round in different recipes. Even though the spring's the peak season, for crawfish and 90% of all crawfish is harvested in Louisiana. So I buy my crawfish tails and I keep them in the freezer. Now it's extremely important that you look for Louisiana crawfish tails because I promise there's such a difference in the quality and the flavor. So I've done, this is Louisiana crawfish tails and if you've never had crawfish, it's sort of like between a shrimp and a lobster, but even better. And what we did is I rinsed it and I drained it so keeping this recipe trim and terrific. And crawfish tails are really already cooked, so you're putting this together. I wanted to mix it a little more. Mmm, you can smell it good. So crawfish tails also keep in the freezer for about a year to use in all kinds of recipes. And what I love, you know, my kids can't wait for crawfish season to have crawfish boils, but I prefer to cook with Louisiana crawfish. All right, so here we have it. You can see the great with crawfish, uh, wild rice, and cornbread all in one fabulous dressing. You put it in an oven in 350 degrees for about 30, 40 minutes. But what's great, make it ahead of time, refrigerate it till you're ready to cook. And here we have our Louisiana crawfish cornbread and wild rice dressing. For those people that can't make a decision what kind of dressing they want, this is for you. Enjoy, and I'll see you in the kitchen. For this recipe and a discount code for all my cookbooks, just check the link below.